A couple years ago, we talked about the longest standard roller coasters ever built. Of course, you may recognize Japan Steel Dragon 2000 as the record holder, but if you add Alpine coasters into the equation, it doesn't even crack the top 10. Often classified in their own category, these attractions are well known for providing scenic mountainside rides around the world. Seating one or two guests per car, these rides take passengers to the peak of a mountain or hill before sending them down. On the descent, passengers have the ability to control their speed and can choose a breezy scenic venture or a high-speed thrill ride. Many don't consider them as roller coaster credits, but their use of gravity certainly qualifies them as coasters in general. For this list, we're looking at the longest alpine coasters of the bunch. So whether you see them as the longest alpine coasters or the longest coasters period, we're going to talk about the top 10 in all of its glory, right here on Theme Park Crazy. First though, a few quick important notes. This list will differ from the one on RCDB, since I'm using the stats found on each ride's official website. Second, be sure to stick around for the end of the video to learn how to vote for the best theme park animatronic. And finally, feel free to comment your favorite Alpine coaster below. Anyways, let's get cracking. Number 10, Alpine Coaster at Austria's Golm. This will be the first of several Austrian Alpine coasters on the list. This is due to the European Alps making up much of the country's geography. Naturally, a mountainous country like Austria has plenty of ski resorts, one of which is the medium-sized Golm. This resort is home to more than 27 miles worth of ski slopes, as well as six restaurants and an impressive alpine coaster. At 2.6 kilometers, this coaster can run in both summer and winter. No matter what season you ride it though, you're guaranteed an amazing view of the nearby mountains. Also on this course, you'll wind through the trees and under the gondolas. The layout is truly terrain-based, with the track staying close to the ground throughout the course. According to the official website, the course packs in 44 dips and 15 hairpin turns. As a result, you're in for an overall dreamlike ride experience. Truly a high-quality toboggan ride. Number 9. The Osteholder at Austria's Lienzer Bergbahnen This is yet another Austrian Alpine coaster once again in the European Alps. In addition to Golm, another high-quality destination is Lienzer Bergbahnen. In the winter, you can enjoy the slopes and even have a meal on them. Meanwhile, in the summertime, you can check out some equally exciting activities. These include mountain biking, paragliding, and even llama trekking. Carl Weiser would certainly love it there. But whether summer or winter, the next coaster on this list can be enjoyed in both seasons. This ride named the Ostirodler takes guests 2.7 kilometers through a mountainous terrain. The ride experience combines a scenic woodland setting with spectacular high altitude views. From the track, you can view a number of mountain peaks, buildings, and the nearby art museum, which is built inside an actual 13th century fortress. Plus, who could forget that double helix towards the end? So if you're looking to experience Austria's beauty, book a ticket to the state of Tirol and fit the Ostiroldler into your itinerary. Number 8. Sammerrodelbahnen Serlisblitz at Austria's Serlisbahnen Meters This alpine coaster is much like the one at Golm, with a low-to-the-ground layout. This time, though, it has a single rail track design. This allows for a much more open feeling while navigating the fast-paced course. This, in turn, makes the coaster much more intense. The ride's 2.8 kilometer layout has several notable moments throughout the course. These include a segment where you go up and over a wooden bridge, which really feels like something out of a Mario Kart game. At another point, it looks like you're about to fly right off the mountain, and it isn't until the very last second that the illusion is broken. Add in a brief underpass, track that runs alongside the hiking path, and the occasional cattle pedestrian, and you've got a ride that's both exciting and charming. This coaster operates from mid-May to mid-November, so you've got plenty of time to book your tickets for it. Another highly recommended thrill ride. Number 7. Alpsee Coaster at Germany's Alpsee Bergwelt The state of Bavaria is well known for its deep cultural traditions and snowy mountains. Plus, who hasn't heard of Bavarian pretzels or Bavarian cream? Virginia's Busch Gardens Williamsburg even has an entire themed area based on it. And speaking of snowy mountains, Bavaria is also home to an alpine coaster that doesn't need warm weather to operate. This ride named Alpsee Coaster will take you on a scenic, speedy cruise along the side of the mountain. A cruise that measures over 2.8 kilometers long according to the official website. 
In addition to its gorgeous setting, the ride is pretty intense as well. According to the website, the course features quote, over a hundred curves, waves, and jumps down to the valley station. These include a few jubilant double downs. You wouldn't expect to get airtime on an alpine coaster, but you're pretty much certain to feel the negative Gs on this one. All I can say is that thrill seekers and sightseers alike will no doubt take delight in this attraction. Number 6. Hassenhorn Coaster at Germany's Hassenhorn Holderbahn Back at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, the ride Verbolten is a coaster theme to Germany's Black Forest. But did you know that there are coasters inside the real Black Forest? Located in the state of Baden-Württemberg, the small town of Taunau is like somewhere straight off a postcard. In addition to the elegant architecture and the Taunau waterfall, a ride named Hassenhorn Coaster gives passengers yet another picturesque local activity. First opening in 2004, this coaster has an approximate length of 2.9 kilometers long, making it the longest coaster in the Black Forest, not to mention the longest coaster in all of Germany. The best part of this ride by far is the astonishing view of the town below. You can spot many of Taunau's buildings from up there, from the stores to the chapel. If you're afraid of heights, you can still get an amazing view via the chairlift. But if you're looking for a more thrilling way to get said view, this coaster is an absolute must. Well, we're about halfway through now, and if you like what you see so far, feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe, and hit the bell to turn on new video notifications. It's the best way to keep this channel up and running. Number 5. Fun Bob at Italy's Monte Agudo the municipality of Aronzo di Cadore is just one of Italy's many popular scenic locations. The region is most notable for its view of the three peaks of Lavaredo. Moreover, thrill seekers can enjoy the Monte Agudo Ski Resort. Here they can ride an alpine coaster named Fun Bob, which is often what the coaster classification is called in Italy. The resort's website describes the coaster as the region's most popular summer attraction, and it's really no wonder why. At an elevation of 1,361 feet above sea level, guests swerve down the side of the mountain in areas that are ski slopes during the winter. You even take a chairlift to reach the ride's starting point. With this coaster, skiers can experience the thrilling slaloms and steep declines with no snow necessary. In total, this coaster is about 3 kilometers long, and from the look of things, every inch looks like an absolute blast. It's by far the longest alpine coaster in Italy. And if you love laterals, you're in for a hell of a time. Number 4. Rodelbahn at Switzerland's Rodelbahn Pradeschia Unlike other coasters on this list, this one is Swiss. It's also the oldest coaster on the list, opening all the way back in 1999. At 3.1 kilometers long downhill, it currently stands as the longest alpine coaster in the entire country. Like other rides on this list, you'll be met with a vertigo-fueled yet stunningly spectacular view of the mountains and the nearby neighborhood. But what makes this coaster stand out among the others is its layout. If you love switchbacks, this is your alpine coaster for sure. Just look at all these switchback turns that run down a single slope. The view from the sky is so impressive that I made it the thumbnail of this video. If you're looking for a ride that delivers high-speed twists and turns, book a ticket to Switzerland and check out this Alpine classic. Number 3. Alpine Coaster at Austria's Imster Bergbahnen This right here is the longest Alpine coaster ever built in Austria, measuring at a whopping 3.535 kilometers. Unlike the last coaster on this list, this coaster doesn't focus on slaloms. Instead, it stays close to the trees and under the chairlift. This is to give enough room for the ski slopes on the side. So whether you prefer switchbacks out in the open or winding in between the trees will determine whether you prefer number 3 or 4 more. As for the layout, the official POV showcases a high-speed thrill ride with lateral pack turns and some giddy airtime moments. Perhaps the most notable element occurs towards the middle of the ride in the form of a high-speed triple down. This element is bound to lift your stomach into your chest. Not literally though, that would be ridiculous. Another memorable moment is the minuscule bunny hops, which are bound to take high-speed riders by surprise. And the best part about this coaster? It's located in the same state as Ostiholder. So if you're looking for two alpine coasters for the price of one flight and hotel, feel free to book a ticket to Tirol. Number 2. Mamuti Horska Draha at the Czech Republic Stoloni Morava Relax and Sport Resort. I may have pronounced that wrong. Also known as Mammoth Roller Coaster in English, this is the only Chechen coaster to make this list, and it's quite an impressive one. It's also the newest coaster on this list as well, opening in 2019. Interestingly enough, the downhill section is actually shorter than numbers 3 and 4, 
at 3.043 kilometers. However, this coaster actually starts at the lowest point. Guests traverse a long lift up the track, adding another 1,201 meters to the layout. This gives the ride a total length of 4.244 kilometers. Whether green and lush or a white winter wonderland, you can experience this coaster's thrills in pretty much any weather. One thing worth noting is that after being towed up the lift, passengers actually disembark and enter a separate queue. Then they reboard the coaster at the top. This makes it pretty hard to tell what the true length of the passenger's ride is, but in this case, I'm sticking with what the website says. After a relaxing scenic cruise on the lift, passengers are sent on a wild ride downwards. Along the way, they'll traverse the rocky, tree-laden check terrain, all while gliding smoothly through the layout's dips, turns, and swerves. The most eye-popping moment by far is the double downward helix immediately followed by a tunnel. All in all, there's no doubt it's the most must-ride Alpine coaster in the Czech Republic. And it was an amazing investment by the resort. Number 1. Dobotronk at Andorra's Netorland Situated between the borders of northeast Spain and southwest France is the small nation of Andorra. This microstate may be small, but it's home to the largest Alpine coaster of all time. First opening in 2007, this coaster measures at an enormous 5.3 kilometers. That's over a kilometer more than the number two spot on this list. This coaster is so long that it takes passengers around 12 minutes to reach the top. Needless to say, if you love looking at trees, this coaster is right up your alley. After reaching the peak, guests will be met with an extremely unique and memorable alpine coaster experience. While most alpine coasters on this list are situated among ski slopes, this coaster is mostly situated among the trees. This course takes guests on a winding scenic ride through the La Rabasa forest, with the signature dips and turns you've come to expect from this coaster classification. If you thought the beast took you through the woods, Tobotronk is on a whole nother level. You could say there are so many trees along this course, it would make Snoop Dogg jealous. Overall, Tobotronk perfectly exemplifies the appeal of the Alpine coaster. These rides are tucked away from the hustle and bustle of amusement parks and focus more on the natural beauty of their surroundings. We all love standard roller coasters, but Alpine coasters are amazing in their own right and certainly deserve to be talked about more among enthusiasts. Just like roller coasters, these are incredible feats of engineering. In many cases, builders had to maneuver extremely tricky terrain to accomplish them. And so to companies like Vigand, Brandauer, and others, kudos to you. These attractions are incredible. Now for the poll announcement. In the month of January, I plan on releasing a video about the best theme park attractions of all time. I recently got the list narrowed down to the finalists, so check out the link in the description to cast your vote. Who will win? It's up to you. Now it's time for the comment shoutout program. This is when I take five comments from my previous video and read them out. These comments are from my new for 2023 coasters video. Cheerleader Gerard Way says, I'm so excited for Wildcat's Revenge, you have no idea. Time for Clocks 21 says, Like, almost every new coaster is a launch coaster. Absolutely absurd. Pufferfish Lover says, I am not really hyped for any of these because I won't ride most of them since I'm in the Netherlands. I am, however, hyped for a 2024 coaster, the RMC Raptor coming to Wallaby Holland. Matthew Kumis says, RIP chain lifts. And Rachel Jackson says, I'm looking forward to Gotham City Escape, RIP Kevin Conroy. If you want to see your words in my next video, leave a comment down below and it may be selected. Please note though that inflammatory or spam comments will not be read. Thank you all so much, and if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so once again at the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at ThemeParkCrazy.com. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.